Honestly, I'm not even going to lie. She's kind of creepy looking with the white hair and her eyes roll back in her head like that. She looks mad creepy. <laughs> Sword looks really cool though. Looks like some kind of golden lightsaber. All right, so what's going on, everybody? <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy. And for this one, I wanted to give you guys a first look at Phyla Vell, daughter of the great Marvel. Too great to be a part of Marvel Future Fight. Go figure. So we have his daughter here, and she's actually pretty good. She's actually pretty good. She's going to be a paywall character coming in the next couple of days. So get your wallets ready if you want to rock with her. Honestly, if you purchase her, I think she's not a bad buy. However, you can get her for free. Just keep that in mind. If you do the epic quest, you get a couple bios to summon her or like whatever, like craft her or like, you know what I'm saying? Get her, unlock her, whatever, right? And then you can just use mega rank up ticket, mega tier two, boom, no money spent. I think I'm going to do the same thing. So just want to point it out. I'll show it to you guys when the update goes live because I don't know if I'm going to spend any money this update just because mm, still not really feeling like they're listening enough yet anyways moving on how good is phyla Vell and why do i think she's actually good well her damage is pretty freaking awesome she has heal she's fun to play and fairly easy to keep alive she still dies right she still dies she's not like some kind of super godly tank of a character but i can make her work and i want to show that to you guys so just like i said on the live stream her two skill her second skill is actually going to be one of her most useful skills it offers quite a bit defense down damage immunity and damage accumulation and you can see for yourself she increases her attack by 13.5 percent for each one percent of damage taken for eight seconds all right and you can basically keep this up all the time because once you have 50 percent cooldown that 13 seconds is going to become six and a half seconds six and a half second cooldown Eight second duration they basically use this thing off cooldown but a bim but a boom you have 13.5 percent more damage basically all the time and that's very important because another character that excels off damage accumulation is actually sharon rogers hers goes up to 15 percent, and you can also keep this up all the time so i just want to point that out free to play god right not going to say like she's a god or nothing like that right she's definitely not going to come close to sharon rogers not with a tier three not with a uniform when she doesn't but i do want to point that out right and the thing is the defense dot on this skill happens at the very end so in most cases you're not going to get it like for me look at this you have to go through quite a bit to get it right but the thing is if you're playing her with a normal damage pot like a ctp of energy ctp of destruction or just a custom gear extreme obelisk whatever you're not going to want this to happen okay for the most part what you're going to do is this two immediate cancel into five blast the enemy once you're done you're gonna go three and then four and then right back into two and canceling it right so to show you guys some practical application of this we'll go two five let it play out let it play out let it play out three once you drop down you just jump back up and you're gonna probably take a couple of hits with her because the gaps in her iframes are very, very noticeable in World Boss. So just keep that in mind, but you do have a heal on your fifth skill and it will give you back a couple ticks of your HP each time. So that's not bad, okay? If she didn't have the heal, she would be a problem child to keep alive, no doubt. So there's two seconds here, 5.5% is not that much, but it definitely makes the character feel complete. You also have the attack buff here right so even though you're missing out on the defense down if you did have rage though you would ideally let the defense down play out and then go into the fifth skill but i'm using her with a ctp of energy trying to keep it a little bit more free to play friendly i guess all right to show you guys what you can do with like a regular proc or something close to that right i do want to see what she does with energy so that's why i put that on her and the third skill you're basically just using for the iframe same goes for the um fourth skill but it also has defense now some would say you could go two four and then five but 
trust me when I say, no, you're going to lose your damage clock along the way because the defense now doesn't get applied until the very end. So that's that two is definitely a staple. You're going to start with that every single time. But anything else in between two and five is going to cost you your damage proc. So ideally, you need to have a rage to do that. OK, so it's two, five, three, four, two, five. So let's take her into a little bit of content here. Let me show you guys the stats really quickly. Nothing is like maxed out. Her dodge is incredibly low. Her crit rate is really low. Her crit damage is just high because of the uh, CTP. I did give her some Urus, right? But this is an incomplete build because this is an incomplete character for the most part because this is an APK and stuff can be changed. No idea what they're going to change. If they do change something, I don't know, make the iframes a little bit like, I guess, better like make the gaps less noticeable or give her a bigger heal. I'll be here for that. The damage looks good enough, but hey, who's ever going to argue about more damage, right? Especially on a character that you're paying money for. I'm just saying. So let's actually pop in here. She is energy based. So we're going to go against this buffoon right here. Right, my twin brother. Okay, call obsidian, the madman. Okay, let's <laughs> let's go. Um, 35 is pretty high for a level 60 character. So keep that in mind. But she is sporting, like I showed you guys, right? The leadership tag. So you can use her with White Fox. And because she's a hero, right? Even though she looks pretty villainous. Like right here, she looks cuter. Like on this portrait at the top left here, she looks cuter than she actually looks when you, you zoom in on her. Like she actually looks like she will legit kill you. But I guess that's what she's going for, right? <laughs> Anyways, let, let's, get into, let's get into some gameplay, boys. We do have to be mindful of the bleed. And because she's going to be up close and personal, we'll call. This, this would be a tricky fight for sure. So we're going to go two, five. I can't really see her, so I'm just going to have to kind of gauge. Yep, we got clip there. Two, five. This is a bad place to be. You ideally ooh, don't want to not be able to see when the skill ends. But the rotation is pretty easy and straightforward, and I find it very, very easy to keep the proc where I want it to be. And the good thing about, look at this, man. The good thing about staying up in Cole's face is he's always hitting you and you're always accumulating damage. So it's really, really, really good. Yeah, we could definitely go higher. Let's go a little higher. She is taking a beating, though. And the reason for that is because she's up in his face and there are those little gaps in the iframes. And when the skill ends, the fifth skill, she literally just stands still in front of Call Obsidian. And because of that, like, especially if his back is towards me and I can't see her, like, I kind of have to guess when I should trigger the third skill because I don't want to cancel the um, fifth skill too early because that's going to cost me some damage. And you can see that fifth skill puts in work. That is the highest damaging skill in her kit even though there is no defense down on it. Now, because we have to deal with the Toxic Meteor and the Blade Twister in here, um, she might actually die, but she should still have the damage to show you guys just how powerful she is. Yeah, like she still is doing good damage, but we gotta be mindful of the Blade Twister. We might actually have to cut the rotation down to... Um... Hmm just two five and three yeah we're gonna cut it down to just two five and three and just leave the four out so we lose a little bit of damage but she becomes a little bit safer Whew, that was a little slow on my hand okay you know what Okay, this could actually work. We're gonna go two, five, the proc, three, and then the next time we use two, we'll let it play out fully. And then, ah, ah, it's actually better. So the first time when you're starting the fight, just use two cancel, five, but then the second time, Ooh, if you leave the four out, you can actually go ooh, and let the um, two skill play out fully and then 
Hold on. I have to be careful. I don't want her to die. So we go two. Oh, come on. Don't run away. I wonder if she could break the shield with her fifth skill. Is the fifth skill used? Yeah, we used it. Even though it went into the cutscene. That sucks. Oh, no, no. Oh, come on. That's annoying. Can you spin? Yes, please. Thank you. Okay, we're going to go two. And five. And three. And two. We're going to let it play out this time. And then we're going to go five again. And then three. And then two. Ah, okay, you know what? Forget the four, man. Just forget the four. Just just forget the four, guys. It's it's definitely better to just forget the four. We're going to die. Yeah, we're going to die. I was being greedy. I wanted to push for a little bit more damage. She didn't have to die there, but yeah. Um, Going two, cancel five, and then going three. Let, let me show you guys. It's better to just show you than to talk about it, right? The second rotation is key. So the first rotation, when you go into the fight, you don't want to let the two skill play out because this is going to activate your damage prop early. So you want to go two, then five, let it play out. Once it's done, you go three. And then once that's done, you then go and let it play out fully and then go into your five. The extra time will actually make it so that you get the defense down on the second rotation. And then you can get off even more burst damage from her fifth skill so the first rotation is key the first rotation you cancel every other rotation you can just let the two skill play out that's if nothing changes if, if everything goes according to plan you can do that but things never go according to plan so you want to like compensate for that if you ever have to do a hard reset where you need to like run around and you can't attack then you go two cancel five but then the rotation following that, where like you would go three, the next rotation, you would let the two skill play out and then go into five. Ah, you see, we're using our brains here, guys. Using your smarticles. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, she's actually fun to play. She has good damage. We did that at level 60. Keep that in mind, okay? Stage 40, level 60. Keep that in mind. So she could definitely push way higher and I look forward to testing her out on my own account. So... We're going to wrap things up here. Let me know what you guys think of the lovely and scary demonic looking file of Vel. <laughs> and I will catch you guys in the next one. Let me know what other video you guys want to see from me, man. Smash the like button on the way out if you like the video. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.